Number 10, Charles J. Bishop. Charles J. Bishop, a 15-year-old student pilot, stole a Cessna 172 and crashed it into the Bank of America Tower in downtown Tampa, Florida. He had been inspired by the September 11th attacks. The impact killed the teenager and damaged an office room. As officials could find no evidence of any connections, terrorism as a motive was ruled out, and they suggested that the crash was an apparent suicide. Bishop's mother filed, then dropped a lawsuit claiming that an acne medicine Bishop took had side effects such as depression and suicidal actions and caused the incident. Number 9. Joseph Andrew Stack on February 18, 2010, Joseph Andrew Stack deliberately crashed his Piper Dakota light aircraft into the building of the Echelon office complex in Austin, Texas, killing himself and one other person. The building housed an IRS field office along with a couple of private businesses. Prior to the crash, Stack had posted a suicide note referring to greed, insanity, and the IRS to his business website. Furthermore, Stack's accountant confirmed that he was being audited by the IRS for failure to report income. In response to the attack, the IRS spent more than $38 million to recover and resume work at the building to increase security at other IRS sites in the U.S. Number 8. Chris Fatsui An Air Botswana captain on sick leave boarded an ATR-42 aircraft parked on the Gaborone airport and took off. Shortly afterwards, he reported to the controller that he wanted to speak to the country's president, the Air Botswana's general manager, and his girlfriend, among others. The president was out of the country, so arrangements were made for him to speak to the vice president. After flying for about two hours, he crashed at 200 knots into two other airplanes parked on the runway. He was the only casualty. Number 7. Vladimir Surkov In 1976, Russian pilot Vladimir Surkov directed his small AN-2 biplane into the block of flats in the city of Novosibirsk, where his divorced wife lived. He aimed at the window of the kitchen where his ex-wife and her family had breakfast every morning. The man and 11 residents were killed. Apparently, the pilot decided to end his life and at the same time take revenge on his wife. However, neither she or anyone else related to Surkov were home at the time. Number 6. Colin Richard Foreman Colin Richard Foreman migrated from the UK to Australia in the early 1970s, but had trouble adjusting and tried to forge a Qantas ticket back to England. The forged ticket was detected and Foreman had a conviction record against him. He later obtained a commercial pilot's license and he started flying for Con Air. However, the ticket forgery soon came to light and Foreman was dismissed after seven weeks. He then found another job but was soon fired from there as well. On January 5, 1977, Foreman stole the Beechcraft 58 Baron from the airfield. He took off and then set full power on both engines and aimed at the Connellan complex before plunging into the building, killing himself and four other people. Number 5. Eunice Kayarti All 44 passengers and crew on a Royal Air Merrick ATR-42 turboprop died when the captain Eunice Kayarte committed suicide by disengaging the autopilot and directed the plane into the Atlas Mountain, 10 minutes into a flight from Agendir to Casablanca. One explanation for his action was a lover's quarrel with his female co-pilot picked up on the cockpit voice recorder. The co-pilot on the flight sent a distress signal but was unable to stop her colleague from carrying out his suicidal impulses. Number 4. Herminio Dos Santos Fernandez On November 29, 2013, Land Mozambique Airlines Flight 470 crashed into Boapuada National Park in Namibia, killing all 33 people on board. The investigation report showed that the captain, Herminio Dos Santos Fernandez, had a clear intention to crash the jet. He manually changed its autopilot settings. The plane's intended altitude was reportedly changed three times from 38,000 feet to 592 feet, and the speed was manually adjusted as well. The cockpit voice recorder captured several alarms going off during the descent, as well as repeated loud bangs on the door from the co-pilot who was locked out of the cockpit until shortly before the crash. Number 3. Su Wei Ming Silk Air Flight 185 from Jakarta to Singapore crashed into the Musi River in southern Indonesia on December 19, 1997, killing all 104 people on board. The US NTSB concluded that the evidence was consistent with a deliberate manipulation of the flight controls, most likely by Captain Su Wei Ming. 
Investigators discovered he had had financial problems at that time, including recent financial losses of $1.2 million. Shortly before the crash, he had arranged for an insurance policy to protect his wife and their three children from having to pay the balance of their home mortgage in the event of his death. The insurance took effect on December 19th, the day of the crash. Also, 18 years earlier, on the exact date of the crash, Sue's three squadron mates died during their military flight training. Number 2. Gamil al Battuti. The co-pilot of Egypt Air Flight 990, Gamil al Battuti, deliberately crashed the Boeing 767 into the Atlantic Ocean about 60 miles or 100 kilometers southeast of Nantucket Island, Massachusetts. When the captain left the cockpit, Al Batuti turned off the autopilot and led the plane into a dive, continually repeating, I rely on God. The captain then came back into the cockpit, tried to stop the dive, but could not prevent the plane from crashing into the sea. Investigators later learned that shortly before the flight, because of his inappropriate behavior at the hotel in New York City, Al Batuti's privilege of flying to the United States was revoked and an Egypt Air official informed him that Flight 990 would be his last on the route. The Egyptian Civil Aviation Authority disputes the cause of the crash, blaming mechanical problems rather than any action of Al Batuti, in spite of the strong evidence that it was an act of murder-suicide. Number 1 Andreas Lubitz On March 24, 2015, German Wings Flight 9525 at Airbus A320 took off at 10 a.m. from Barcelona bound for Dusseldorf. The plane had 144 passengers and six crew members on board. 40 minutes later, it crashed into the French Alps after a constant descent that began one minute after the last routine contact with air traffic control. The crash was deliberately caused by the co-pilot, Andreas Lubitz having previously been treated for suicidal tendencies and been declared unfit to work by a doctor, Lubitz kept his information from his employer. During the flight, he locked the captain out of the cockpit before initiating a descent that caused the aircraft to crash into a mountain. In response to the incident, aviation authorities all around the world implemented new regulations that require at least two crew members to be present in the cockpit at all times of the flight. Liking our list? Hit the subscribe button and watch new videos every week. Also, check out our previous video. You'll like it.